Strike rate traffic, 2 on X-ray, departing 1-8. I don't know if the audio is working on the GoPro, but I'm off of TS-07 Dry Creek, turning right out to the west, and then uh, shortly I will do a direct two back to Dry Creek, and we'll watch the distance field in the two waypoint block. There's 1,500 feet we'll level up here. And currently two miles west of TS-07, you can see in the nearest block at the bottom, and also the iPad confirms that. Now about three miles from Dry Creek, we're going to do a direct I love the autofill, enter, we'll use the touch screen to activate. Got to go back to map, there's the curved magenta line. Go back to map, it says 5.7 miles, now I'm actually four miles west of Dry Creek. So that 5.5 miles is the magenta line. Now as it goes down, 5.4, 5.3, but I'm flying away from Dry Creek, as you can see on the map on the 540, and it's going 5.2. Now it has the heading correct, I assume, 117, let's look at the iPad. It says, well, it says 102 bearing 2. Well, that's probably not right. That's. Um, we're just going to fly outbound at 1,500 feet and see the distance to Dry Creek. Well, it seems to level off at 5 now. There it goes. Now it's going down some more, but I'm continuing to fly away. I'm looking at 5.7 miles on the iPad. I'm going to put the iPad in front of the camera. I don't know if that's going to show up. 6.1 on the iPad, and then 6.2, and then look, it's 4.9 on the, up here, in this block up here. I wonder what happens when it gets to zero. That's what I want to look at. But 
initially when it calculated the magenta line, the button hook turn, 180 degree course reversal, it showed the distance at 5.5 nautical miles to that waypoint when it's, I was a 4.0 nautical miles uh, point to point, you know, direct line. So that's a little misleading if you're doing a position report and expecting that to be the point to point. We're now 7.6 miles from Dry Creek. It's continuing to go down slowly, 4.8. So it's not a mile for mile thing, um, like I thought it might be. But we'll just continue out. Let me zoom out on the map so you can kind of see. There's TS-07, let me get it about right there, right here, and there we are here, heading outbound. I don't know if it's leveled off at 4.8 there. I really don't know how it's calculating that distance or why. Now there's 37XA down here, which I believe is uh, Skydive Houston. It says that's the nearest 5.2 miles. And just looking at the iPad here, uh, that that's that looks that looks accurate. Uh, so the nearest block appears act accurate, but it still says I'm 4.8 nautical miles from TS07. Uh, yet now I am officially 9.9 .9 miles away, and it's just frozen. And this is frozen at 4.8, but it was counting down. If I were in the clouds and I was doing this direct to and maybe I hadn't made my turn back around yet and I saw that it was counting down as I'm flying away, that would be pretty disorienting. I have to be cross-checking with other equipment. So this is a kind of a disappointment. Well, it looks like it's leveled off at 4.8. Um, I guess I'll stop the GoPro and head on back. If, if anything changes, I'll kick the GoPro back on. And I hope the audio is connected. Who knows? <laughs>